Now moving on to the third question. In figure 6.30, if AB is parallel to CD and EF is perpendicular to CD and angle GED is equal to 126 degrees, find angle AGE, angle GEF and angle FGE. Now moving on to the solution, he has given that angle GED is equal to 126 degrees. That is angle GED 126 degrees. Now, if we observe clearly, angle GED is consisting of angle GEF and angle FED. That is angle GEF plus angle FED. That is equal to 126 degrees. That implies angle GEF plus angle FEE will be 90 degrees as FE is perpendicular to CD that is equal to 126 degrees that implies angle GEF is equal to 126 degrees minus 90 degrees that is equal to 36 degrees therefore we got one of the values which is asked that is angle GEF is equal to 36 degrees. Again, if we consider the triangle GEF, here we know that sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. We can write angle GEF plus angle EFG plus angle FGE is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle GEF is 36 degrees we got in the above plus angle EFG will be 90 degrees as FE is perpendicular to CD and AB is parallel to CD therefore EF is also perpendicular to AB that is angle EFG will be 90 degrees plus angle FGE is equal to 180 degrees which implies 126 degrees plus angle FGE is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle FGE is equal to 180 degrees minus 126 degrees that is equal to 54 degrees therefore we have got the other unknown value that is angle FGE is equal to 54 degrees. Here we got the two values that is angle GEF and angle FGE. Again we have to find the angle AGE. He has given that AB is parallel to CD and if we consider the AE as transversal then we can say that angle AGE and angle GED or alternate interior angles. We know that when lines are parallel, their alternate interior angles will be equal. Therefore, angle AGE is equal to angle GED which will be equal to 126 degrees. Therefore, we can write angle AGE is equal to 126 degrees here thus we got the three unknown values that are asked that is angle AGE is equal to 126 degrees and angle GEF is equal to 36 degrees and angle FGE equal to 54 degrees that's the solution